Why not? Uh, right? Do a lot. If you want to, do you want to put your headset on so that you can hear everything? Why not? Why not? We'll do a Bill O'Reilly show. We'll Hi, do a I'm Howie Mandel. This is Howie Mandel does stuff. I am Jacqueline Schultz, and his we have, daughter. And we have the lovely Josh Peck here. Lovely. Thank you. Who, Thank you for having me. Well, I didn't have you. Well, well I had what do her. You call this? This is not an adoption. This is just not a, yet. Okay. You see how this goes. Oh wow. I'm lovable. You, you want, want a new dad? I would like a dad. Yeah. Just to start. Do you not know his story? No, I do not. It's too soon. Sorry. <laughs> Did she say something that was off? Seems right on time. Really? <laughs> you don't know your father. Never met him. Call me daddy. So then why is That's it? another podcast. That's a that's not this podcast. No. But we're going to and you do a podcast. I do the good guys. And we're going to and you but the other good guy we're going to get on here in a, in a, in just a second we're going to talk where is he? He's in uh he's in Florida right currently. He's in Florida. Yeah, but he lives in New York, but he's at, you know, he's at the families and they have a big podcast studio in Florida. You know his wife is Claudia Ashri from the Toast, who's a big podcast macher. Just saying. Wow. Huge. You've been here for three minutes and there's been a lot of Yiddish. What other Yiddish can you point to? I don't know. We weren't well, rolling. Just we weren't I, rolling when he was um, speaking Yiddish. Before. I just feel safe. You, this With is a Yiddish? safe place. I feel amongst my people. How are, are we going to get his uh, his uh, co-host on, on, on a Zoom? Because yeah. we want to talk to him and his co-host because not only is he doing our podcast... But after this, I'm doing your podcast. Yes. When is your podcast on? Monday and Thursdays. Monday and Thursdays. Yes. And how long have you been doing that? We've been doing it uh, almost Wait, two years, what? year and a half. I can't guys, hear you. What? You can what? talk to us. I emailed his co-host to get the, the email back. Say it, say it loud. And No, he could hear. He emailed your co-host. We emailed the co-host. Yes. And Are we not going to do it on Zoom or we're just going to email each other back and forth to talk? Zoom. Let's they do it carrier pigeon. Way. Yeah. Do they do, do they still use carrier pigeons in parts of the world? Uh, no, but I I saw no, in jail. Do you know that for a fact? Do in they in jail? In jail, they do something called I think it's called pigeons, but it's a form of passing messages from cell to cell. I once did a message. I had a message. I I I knew I was going to have a prostate exam. Are you too young to have prostate exams? Much too. Okay, I wasn't offering. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that I had a prostate, I knew I was getting a prostate exam and I put a note in there once. You did not. I did. That's how he passes notes. That's cool. What it, did the note that, say, Howie? It was just, because uh, I knew the doctor, it's just uncomfortable getting a prostate check. Mm. For you youngins out there, it's like the, a, a, a doctor puts his finger in your ass. Right. For health reasons. I feel like there should be like a better, like a better technique. Oh, there he is. Checking. There's the kid from Florida. There he is. There's Ben. I'm, I'm, I'm good to have a finger in my ass. Is that <laughs> you look like you're ready for that. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's in I'm, perfect they're, position. They're behind me. I they're had a... Right now. We're already going, Well, ben, you're in Florida where prostate checks are the... Oh, we're, oh, we're going? Yeah, we're right, live. We're, we're live, Poppy. <laughs> great. All right. This Excellent. is a great Ben Soffer, my co-host, my Poppy. Everybody, you really... Howie, it's, Howie, it's great to meet you. I know. <laughs> I love know, the flamingos. <laughs> Look, he's in Florida with flamingos. It's so Florida. Nice, right? You know flamingos, it's nice? not their color that they get it from eating shrimp? I do know that. I knew that. I, did not I know knew that. that fun fact. Oh. Starting with animal facts? It would be great. Alex, tell us something about my son is really good on animal facts. Tell us something nobody this knows like about a, a flamingo. Throughout our podcast. Oh, great. Where are you going? No. Go on the mic. <laughs> he's just posing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about flamingos? Yeah, the flamingos with the shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know something that we don't know about flamingos? <laughs> oh, this is really disappointing. I wish I, I wish I, you know. <laughs> so give hypothetically, me a second. if give me we a fed flamingos exclusively limes, they turn green. Say yeah. that again. Or shrimp. What did he say? If we, that, if we. Go ahead. If we fed flamingos exclusively limes, they'd turn green. So they just Suppose. turn whatever. You are what you eat, said the flamingo. Yes, indeed. No, so I think a, there's a special thing in shrimps. Like, the way they get their color. No? It's not just, like, anything that they eat. They I turn like that. into that color. It's like shrimps are special. So let me ask you something. Uh, <laughs> last night, I went to a seafood restaurant. Ooh, say more. Okay, and I ordered blackened shrimp. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. What's that mm. going to do to the flamingos? Well, that's just Cajun spices. I do know that a, a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. 
Is it really? It yeah. is not. No, it's not. That, <laughs> no. That's, that's my crew. That's the, the, no, the it's not. that's the guys I hang out with. We call ourselves the flamboyants. They're lovely. Really? Look at the wall and disagree with me. <laughs> is that really true? It is called the flamboyants. Google it. He doesn't know. We're, you have computers. There's no way. We're we, on have, Zoom. we have the Zoom up. Oh, I'll do it. Oh, okay. okay, we'll Google. A flamboyance. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm hanging out with the flamboyance tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <What? laughs> Babe, please. Me and the flamboyance. Sounds good to me. What do you call Sounds a group? Sounds good to me. I'm in. Oh, really? Are oh, you? Uh, it are, is. Yeah. It is? It is. I'm, I'm, He's right. I'm, I'm a Your son is gifted. Straight man. It doesn't mean I can't be a part of the flamboyance. Why not? Well, a collective noun to describe a gathering of flamingos is flamboyance. Can you imagine that? I'm going to be at the flamboyance tonight <laughs> in West Hollywood. Like he's so proud of his animal really? fact. A <laughs> lot of the people I watch on uh, Bravo seem to be a flamboyance. What? Really? Why? Who? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to get myself into trouble. But I'm. Just I saying, think you are already. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm just saying. I think I saw flamboyance on Bravo. I'm a big Bravo fan. Are you? Yeah, my wife's got me on all the what do you, shows. What do you watch? My wife, I, my wife does the Real Housewives. What do I, I like, um, I like the Million Dollars. I like the Vanderpumps. Oh, the Vanderpumps. Which, we had, we had Tom Sandoval on our, on our podcast. <laughs> oh, we know. Oh, did oh, you watch know. the interview? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. That seems very pointed. What do you, what are you saying? No, I thought it was outstanding. I would love to know more about how that came to be. Oh, because, um, Tom, Tom Sandoval's, uh, drummer and road manager is married to a woman that works for me got it so we got the exclusive and i didn't yeah. watch it and then i got killed do you how go did you how do you feel about that interview and my dad and you're gonna get in said. trouble do you want to talk about what no Stom that's did? fine okay go ahead no about you and your your interview style and technique with Tom. about the whole george floyd thing no that's not what i was saying oh <laughs> <laughs> didn't he say that? Didn't he say? Well, it's the same thing he said. I no, read. I'm saying, what do you think <laughs> about my dad's interviewing tactic with Tom? With Tom Sandoval. Yeah. Okay. It's just so we're clear. We're talking about Tom Sandoval yes. here. Yes. Um, but you know that Tom said that he's gone through what the George Floyd and the OJ Simpson. Well, that I have no comment about <laughs> are you at all. Get, are we going to get in trouble for that? <laughs> I have no. I didn't say it. He that, said other it. Other than that's insane. Um, yeah. I uh, well, when you interview Tom, that that's what I'm interested because in, obviously I'm a, I'm a massive fan of yours, Howie. I'm a, I'm a massive fan of the pod and the show and and. Knowing that it was said exclusive, why why not do like a quick crash course on Vanderpump? Uh, well, I've learned my lesson. So let's talk about <laughs> episode fourteen of, of Drake and Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm one of my faves. <laughs> so I'm doing my homework now. No, I, the the truth of the matter was, and I've said this many times, and I don't know if this is your because you guys do dig deep into. I've watched your podcast, and you mm. ask questions, and you're asking obviously questions because you've done uh, some homework. My thing was to to uh, reiterate again. I saw uh, Tom Sandoval. I saw I saw this thing called Scandoval. I don't watch these shows. I don't watch the Housewives or the the Vanderpump Rules or any of that. I just don't. I'm not mm. knocking them. I just it's now just you not, do. I did. Mm -hmm. So so and then I saw Scandoval and I go, what is this Scandoval? And then I see it on CNN and I see it in the papers and I said, what is this? Why mm. is this a big thing? And she explains to me this guy cheated on his girlfriend, and then uh, and then. I said, uh, "How? Why is that even a, a thing? Like, why is that news?" Sure. Because I even knew that you know, there's a girl on there called Lala. Yeah, we we just had her on the show. Love Lala. Did you? She really? showed up on your show. She showed up on your show. Did she? She. She. Not you guys? only did she show up, she gave us everything, and she was unbelievable. We're sorry. Did she slight you guys? Beyond. She has now completely ghosted. She ghosts me. Like, will not oh. answer. She commented on my lighting. No. Oh, yeah. Wait, and so I said, she... Come she... I did her podcast. You got the exclusive on Lala? The Lala exclusive. She I don't think it was an exclusive. We, we, we had Lala, but Josh, we should broker a peace treaty. This is, this is not right. Yeah. It isn't. We she can... hasn't said that she dislikes you. She just, like, stopped answering you. 
Okay. Completely. So anyway. We're going to broker a peace treaty. What, what How is that going to happen? Do you have a number? Do you have a uh, number? We, I think we, I think we do. Yes. We have the assistance number in full transparency. Okay. Let's call we her have right someone's now. Number. Let, let's call her right now. <laughs> you know what? I can, I get no reception here. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. liar. How, you know, you own the building and you put a lot of money into the infrastructure. Yeah. These thick quality walls. So I no did, I did, I did, um, no research, but I didn't care about doing research because I said to him, come on my show and you know, you're getting hit from all sides. Come and tell your side of the story. And this young lady was angry and wanted mm. to stand up for everybody who has been wronged in life. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm giving him, think of this as a deposition. You know, you can sink or swim, just say whatever your side is, which wasn't popular. But because I kept saying, I just don't understand why this is such a big deal, which is probably the wrong use of words. Ah. People thought I was condoning this. But I do mm. research, I mean, I know stuff. There's a girl sitting right there that dated him. Wow. Can I say that? What a is she fun be, revelation is that she is. Gonna, she did. She did. Is Olivia. Is she going to allow you Olivia, to say Olivia, come here. Uh, Olivia, Olivia, come say here. More. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a microphone right here, Olivia. <laughs> she, did. she did. Go ahead. Recently, right? Sit right there. This sit is a right great there. episode. Yes, yeah, sit right there. <laughs> Olivia, you got thank Lala. you for being here. I got, thank you for I being got here. Olivia who uh, actually, and I didn't know this was going to happen, <laughs> but move the mic closer to you. Oh my God, am I going to get in trouble for this? I don't know. <laughs> we can nice have to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. How are you? Do you have any questions for her? Yeah. What, okay. What? What were? What's? What years did you guys date? First of all, let's build a timeline. We're building a timeline. Go all ahead. right. First of all, we did not date. It was in nowhere remotely dating. Your um, parents are here too in the other room. Yeah. What was it? Um, we just met at out and hung out a couple times for like a month. But yeah, no, it was not. Hung a out a couple times for a. <laughs> Well, it's not a relationship, but you no. went out with him. It's a when? friendship. Pre-Ariana. No. No, post-Ariana. Wow. In the yeah. midst wow. of all this. Post-Ariana, during Raquel. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Someone cut to Howie. Someone cut to Howie. Oh, my. No, it was. No, <laughs> after Raquel. After Raquel. It was after Raquel. Well, um, Raquel, he was still claiming that Raquel was in the picture. Raquel was just in some sort of lockdown. Yeah, Raquel was in the lockdown. Um, yeah, I honestly you, don't even well, know. And you go that. perfect. While she, while she was being locked down, you were locking it up. Oh my god! And <laughs> in. <Onion> in. <laughs> no, you guys. I honestly don't even know how that happened, but I guess it just kind of did. So I know him well enough. Like I'd consider him a distant friend at this point. <laughs> <laughs> when is the last time you guys uh, communicated? Well, he has a girlfriend now, um, he? has a girlfriend now, yeah. We were going to meet up for dinner. Yesterday. Um, <laughs> we were going to meet up for dinner. Tonight. Yeah. No, we were going to meet up for, or like, I, we were going to, and then, you know, he gave me the like, oh, I've been super busy, so we never ended up meeting up, and then I haven't heard from him since then, and that was like a few weeks ago. Um, oh, just a few weeks ago. <laughs> Well, and then I found out that he had a girlfriend, so I was like, okay. But he sense. didn't tell you, right? No, he didn't tell me. I, oh my God, Tom was going to cheat? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Because he learned nothing? <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I feel so on the spot right now. <laughs> Did you? So you guys, it, and, and tell me if I'm asking too much, perhaps had like a romantic interlude? <laughs> <laughs> um, If the shoe fits, we'll say that. If the shoe fits. That's What's, a yes. What size shoe does he wear? <laughs> I don't know. He seems know. like a nine. Yeah. <laughs> like a nine and a half. Yeah, are you no. shy because your parents are watching? I don't know. I was not expecting to get called in here. Neither I was, was I. I wasn't expecting to talk about Bravo. Or <laughs> Me no. wait, wait, Go ahead. He's a podcaster. He can ask all the questions. You guys got another exclusive on my fucking podcast. Yeah. <laughs> this is fascinating. This is so flamboyant. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys, you guys met out. It wasn't like a dating app thing. No, or a... I was literally... 
out at the club and all what, what there is I was at Warwick and okay. it was a Wednesday. So Wednesday it was in the summer. Warwick. Yeah. And it's in the summer. Go ahead. It was in the summer. <laughs> yep. And someone was like, oh, this guy thinks you're cute. And I was like, who is it? And then it ended up being Tom. And then, yeah, I don't know. One thing no, led to keep, another. Keep going. Yeah. One thing led to another. Did you then, know who he was? Yeah, I, I knew who he was. But like I had just started watching Vanderpump. So I was like on season like three. Mm -hmm. So I was pretty new to everything, but I still knew who he was because of the whole scandal thing. So, and that's what drew you to him. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's I was like four like, vodka Red Bulls deep. Dreams. Like <laughs> every single time within the few months. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Did he ever talk or address the scandal of it all? Cause during the summer it was kind of at its height. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we talked about everything, but like, I feel like I shouldn't disclose that because honestly, that's his personal business and whatnot. And, and he's like, really shy. He's really, he doesn't like to really open up right. about what's going on well, in his life. No, I just <laughs> think that like everyone's human and like, you know, things happen and like, it's not my business to spill. It's like whatever. But we did talk like, I mean, because we hung out for like a month, um, like a lot. And we did talk <laughs> about things. But Do your parents know you know him? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Do they know? <laughs> Mom's nodding yes. <laughs> Do you guys know intimate details? Oh my God. You can talk, the you, you can talk on the mic. Mom? <laughs> Mom? Oh, What's mom's hated. name? No, don't say anything. <laughs> we hated every minute of it. What? Wow. We hated every minute of you it. But you knew every minute of it. That's what you're implying. No, we did not. Not the dad side, maybe the mom. Mom, come to the mic. <laughs> no, no, I feel like no, I'm on Jerry I just Springer. Wanted, I know, but I just want to know what it's like Is this when. Jerry Springer? It's, it's uh, another I great Jew. I don't know. Last night at dinner. You did? Okay, stop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, mom's hitting him. We talked about this last night at dinner. What did you no. say? They're saying no. I said, don't pull the trigger on an older guy like that ever again. <laughs> they were more upset about the age gap. That's what you were upset about, the age gap? Well, part of it. And when you say pull the trigger. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't know who he was. I had to Google him. Because I didn't actually watch Vanderpump Rules, oh. I don't know anything about it. So, so that now Your that you now gem. that you now that you Googled it, how do you feel about the fact that she pulled the trigger? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a little ashamed. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Mom. oh, oh man! Oh wow. my God, Mom! Yes. Seriously. Oh my God. See, Aww. did we learn something? You know what? Things happen. Aww. People make mistakes, just like Tom. But like, it was nothing but like a harmless hookup for like a month. So. What? Harmless, Why? Hookup. A harmless hookup <laughs> for, for a, a month. month. That's your baby girl. I, I didn't spill the beans to anyone. Like it was, I felt like he was going through a lot. So, so I mean, now that he's happy and in a relationship and everything. Like, why, why did it end? Um, <laughs> That's a great question. Go ahead. It, oh my God. Okay. It ended because, I mean, there was a time when I went out to Melrose place and things just got kind of like blown out of proportion and people were like telling different stories about what actually happened that night. And I just felt like it was just too drama and like too much. And I just didn't really, I never wanted to be a part of it. Like I honestly in the moment liked Tom for Tom. Like I thought he was cool. Like we got along great and I still consider him a friend. Like, I don't know. We just had a good time hanging out with each other. We were just like super harmless, like just friends and whatnot. And then we just like happened to, you know, whatever. Did um, he give you anything? Any jewelry? Any clothing? Did he, he gave buy? me his acrylic fingernail. Okay. <laughs> no. wow, that's kind of, I thought he'd be a gel guy. Wait. Did he? Wait. Oh my. <laughs> when he you gave say he you gave you his fingernail? <laughs> How did that is that, a, is that a euphemism <laughs> because your parents are in the room? <laughs> no, it popped said, off and he said, this is a gift for you. And it was his painted, feathered, blue and white acrylic fingernail. Oh, that's and dark. Here's a gift for you. <laughs> did oh he my ever God. play the trumpet for you? He did not play the trumpet, but I did go to karaoke with him at the Belmont. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what song did he say? <laughs> I don't remember. I have a video of it, though. I mean... <laughs> It was a good time. <laughs> Something. Hey, what's if your, you're doing Howie, what you love. What's your karaoke song? 
Howie, what's your karaoke song? I, um, it's something that was written by Marcel Marceau, who is the most well-known mime in the world. <laughs> I sing mime mm. at karaoke. <laughs> I, I'm not a karaoke person. I don't sing. I can't sing. I can't hold a note. But Tom was singing <laughs> for you, and you had his... You're painting such a picture. <laughs> there you are, just looking in awe at your man for, of the moment. He was not my with man. your feathered acrylic nail <laughs> as feather. he sings. How like he had feathers on his nail? It was like artsy. It was painted. He got them done. They were painted, but yeah, that was like my second time ever hanging out he's, with him. He's flamboyant. <laughs> yeah. Was was there ever talk of you being on the show? Uh, no, no. It was not like that. Yeah. Was he currently filming the show during that time? Yes, that was the tea. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's pour it. <laughs> it's hot. It's you know, let's all get a cup. Now I see why you guys are doing so good with your podcast. <laughs> Give us yeah. one little tidbit. One little tidbit. There was there was a lot going on, like, in the midst of He ordered of you dinner at home? Uh, uh, no. I mean, the first time that we hung out, we went to dinner. Um, no, he ordered you pizza. He ordered me pizza? When? Like a hundred pizza boxes, maybe? A hundred pizza? Wait, do I, is this a joke? No. When? It was the <laughs> night he also gifted you a shirt that said something across the back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tell us that story. Yeah, Tell Alex it. came over the next morning. I had my feet up against the wall, like, in a shirt that said bitch on the back, and then I was like, oh my God. Whose shirt is that? <laughs> my life. It was it was Tom's, but Tom gave you a shirt that said "bitch" on the back. I also got a nice pair of hotel slippers. Oh, what hotel? A Wait. Hyatt? I don't know. Wait, I don't know. not a Ritz. We can't breeze not past Tom. this. He came over and gifted you a shirt that says "bitch" on the back. No, no, I. This was like the first time that I ever like <laughs> stayed over, and I just I needed a shirt. <laughs> Mom, Dad, close your ears. <laughs> um, okay, so Wait, I, I you think break this down. Go ahead. I might be getting. I might be getting close to the tea. Not sure. It's looking like maybe Earl Grey, maybe English <laughs> breakfast. Not sure. But may I ask? There probably is a tea bag. I feel. Up. I feel so bad because I wasn't expecting to come on here. But like yeah. I, I, I am still somewhat friends with Tom. So like I don't want to spill too much because you know I don't. Sure. I'm telling you, I if he's listening to this. To be, yeah. You're not. But well, <laughs> I, I think we you're must. You're not saying anything negative. No, you're not about saying him. anything. You're just being. Let's make it. It's like a mystery. Go right. ahead. Right. I know a lot of By people the way, don't you like. Lost, you lost Tom as a friend, but you picked up two new friends. You have me and Josh. You netted, you netted <laughs> in the positive. Like so it. how do you say you you better leave now? Is that Here's it? my bitch shirt. Is that, wait, well, that's what I was going to say. This is the, the it home is getting hot in here. You guys. Yeah, she's still there. But to be fair, I didn't know anything that was going on. She didn't watch the show. I literally just met Tom like that. That night, so I I didn't I mean I watched the show, but I I didn't know I didn't know anything. Like I just was hanging out with him, so I did it. I we went straight upstairs. Like I don't know. Wow. Well, your dad oh is going, how loaded is her gun? We just are, <laughs> boom. You guys, I feel so bad. No, like, here's a shirt, bitch. Okay. I did not know I was going to come on this. Here's, here's a shirt, Like, bitch. I feel like he's already getting a lot of heat. No. You know? No. We never, and, like, never honestly, the whole why situation should, is so Why sticky. should he? Why should he get heat? He He's with you. He throws you a bitch shirt. He gives you a fingernail. I don't know. He In my opinion, like, fight. things just kind of happen. She? Like, it's, I didn't, I didn't think it was, like, that deep. And also, like, coming in, I mean, I didn't know. It was just the know. tip. It was just a nail. Yeah. Like, I just. In this scenario, he's not coming so, off like the bad guy. Yeah. It was he's so good. harmless. Like, <laughs> it really was. I don't know. <laughs> This is the best podcast in the world. I just want you to know. Thank Alex. you. Can I use that as a that sound up? bite? You know what it is? It's a collaboration yeah. of your podcast and what's the name of it again? Good, good guys. guys. The good guys How, and uh, Howie does his research. Howie Mandel does the good guys. <laughs> That's the name of the episode. Yes. Unbelievable. Wow. Do you want, do you want to be done talking about it? You, uh, we can be done. I, I honestly just feel bad because can it's be just done. like you know, it's I got thrown into a situation that I was just unaware of what was going on and like I, it's not really my place to speak on it and like honestly, are you talking about today? I'm just talking about in general, like, you know, 
Yeah, I just oh, think Dad is saying get off. I, I think I should too. Like I didn't even know I was gonna come. <laughs> Wait, let me just we. say though. Let me just say that you you're not speaking on his experience with them. You're speaking on your experience with him. Right. And so yeah. it is your place to speak on your own personal experience with right. him, right? Yeah. If you want to. Yeah. I mean Yeah. It was <laughs> I mean it was a personal experience, but at the same time, wanna... like I did grow a friendship with Tom. So like I'm not having his back on anything, but at the same time it's like I just don't feel like it's my place because of how short lived our whatever yeah. was. Like it's just I mean I don't I feel like it's just gonna stir Are the Are you pot uncomfortable more on... right now? I don't I, wanna I make just, you uncomfortable. No, I'm, I'm not uncomfortable. I just feel like it's... You wanna get off? Yeah. Well, I think yeah. I just think, <laughs> I think yeah. I think the last the last time you wanted to get off, you ended up with a shirt that said the "bitch" last, on it. The last thing yeah. that I want is to be yeah. I just think this whole okay, come get her, come get her, <laughs> Alex, yeah. come get your friend. Yeah. This is uh, this, this whole Bravo thing is like what? a lot. What? Can I say yeah. one quick thing? She's yeah. super excited to meet Josh. He oh yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm a huge I'm fan. I'm so excited. That's, That's what this is about. Hey. Thank you very much. Dude, Drake and Josh was and, like my childhood. And I, I have no power here, but I'll have them edit some of this out. If okay. You Cool, yeah. I just feel like I don't want to get the last thing that I want to do edit is be, anything. <laughs> I'm not going to edit anything. The last thing I want to do is be involved in this drama because I've heard his side. I've seen it online. Like, I even sure. had a couple TikToks made about me just from the short, like, times that we've been really? out. Yeah. I don't think, do you think you said anything I was today talked about on a podcast too. You, but, but this time you got to kind of say your, your thing. Do you think she said anything that shouldn't be aired? I... I think no. The, do you? I, no. Okay. Well, I said. Dad, my truth, do you think she like, said anything that shouldn't be aired? <laughs> Maybe you, that last comment you made about like. You know, <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> don't edit I, yours. No, if don't you, edit mine. Absolutely no, no. I'm just ab obviously it's. Totally, it's just gonna I piss honor people her. off though and no, make no, pe people that no. are already mad. It's gonna rise no, up more. No, like, because we have to so bring people house. together. The wait, same thing happened. Wait, hold on. Are you worried about you or are you worried about Tom? I'm worried about me. Oh, okay. Oh. Like. See, honestly, you're a person who yeah. thinks of others. <laughs> you don't want any hate to come your way. I don't way. want any hate to come my way. We because won't. I, I know, know you. I, listen, will. I'm going to say, I'll stand. I know Olivia. <laughs> Olivia is a really good friend of my son's. You're a good, you're a very good person. Thanks. And you don't mean any harm. And you are, listen, you brought your parents here today. You're a good yeah, family person. Yeah, my mom person. and dad are here. You're a good, they've already <laughs> seen them. You're a, <laughs> you're a good friend. You actually just... <laughs> You actually just showed up because you're a huge fan of his. Yeah, and you knew I came to see Josh because wow, I love Drake and Josh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I had no What'd you think of, of, like, you think of Oppenheimer? I love Oppenheimer. A little dark, but good acting. Thank you very Weren't much. Weren't you in, I could be completely wrong. Were you in Sharknado or Piranha? No, no, that's no. He was in Oppenheimer. I, think, well, <laughs> I swear there was one other. You know, one. People get it confused. He was in oh, Oppenheimer. I always get Oppenheimer and Sharknado. They're kind of interchangeable. <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> Didn't Christopher <laughs> Nolan do the shark? You're talking about Sharknado yeah. Six. It's like Godfather yeah, Gili, you know. It's but like it was the character that you portrayed in Oppenheimer was you were you were depicting somebody that we have all seen in Sharknado. Yes, I was honoring. I think I was honoring Taylor Lautner and actually Shark Boy, hey. which was another. Call. You know, he dream, was dream, he was dream, almost dream. he was almost in Twilight. Oh, as who? Her. It's, it's Dakota Johnson. <laughs> it wasn't Dakota. It was uh, Edward. It was uh, Bella. Oh, you were going to be yeah, Edward. Bella. He was going to be oh, Edward. Gonna be Bella. <laughs> I was told I was very close. Now, whether my manager was lying to me to keep me as a client, who knows? Do but you have good like Kristen Stewart acting skills? Can you do the like? Kristen Stewart. Oh, the in as the movie Bella? where yeah. they do kind of like that teenager angsty. Right. It's so good. I I don't think I I don't think I could could measure up. I'll be honest. Hey, Josh. Yes. Were you in Red Dawn? Yes, sir, I was. That's my favorite movie. That was badass. <laughs> wow, man. Red you. Dawn. Yeah, what a lovely Killed family it. you have, Olivia. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> sir. Thank you very much. I very Red much Dawn. appreciate that. What a you beautiful family here. Thanks, guys. Yeah, God. they flew in from Spokane, so. <gasps> beautiful. Just to see you. To no. see you. Come yes. on, get right at it. I family. actually have so many questions for you. Go like, ask them. So, really? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so what was it like? Phil this is like my first question, because this is like rising <laughs> we, we right now. Oh, because you haven't asked any questions before, yeah. we realize this is the first. You don't yes. have to number them. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh my God, you're so right. Okay, Okay. well. <laughs> so you, you know what? Start with the third question. Okay, third question. All right. I'll skip the first and second. Okay. Third and question would be working with 
like everybody on Sharknado. Yeah, what, what lovely what time. Well, actually, 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 first let's talk about um, your <laughs> wedding with Drake. Like, what happened with that? Mm. Oh, it was so long ago. <laughs> yeah, but like you guys so were close ago. on the show, though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but the I thing mean, is, for those that don't know what she's talking about, he got married, I think, in 2017, and they invited, uh, you know, the champagne poppy to the uh, to the ceremony, and he didn't show up <laughs> because he's him and his wife love Drake music. And I, that's right, I love Drake music. And he and decided I'm not to show of, up, and, and he was, you know, tour, world tour. So they hired a uh, a DJ. DJ. He's too it, busy busy playing with his. Ding dong. Did you see that? So I Ding dong. I got married to my wife and it's going great. Good. So almost <laughs> seven years in June. So I love that. Yeah, I heard that he like man. moved to Mexico and changed his name and stuff. Oh. I heard that too. <laughs> it's crazy. That's my childhood though. I love that. Wow, Jimmy Olivia, John. you have come in here hot. <laughs> Starting with Sandoval. I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about. I just have, these are questions that I would just ask you. <laughs> you are like. good. <laughs> well done, Mr. and Mrs. Olivia. Hey. <laughs> no, these are just my questions. I know. I feel no, like, I, like, here's, I feel here's like it's only fair because God. of, no, I feel like it's only fair because of the questions that we just asked her and all the shit we brought up with her only fair that she gets to just go for it but well, what kind of questions can i ask because <laughs> i have more what you should wow. ask what you should ask josh is what what procedure did he get to have the gorgeous under eyes that he now has oh let's you talk about that i did i had a laser under eye procedure in mm. in july and it's worth every penny under really? eye, under yes. eye procedure. That's right. And because you guys, oh, you know what that is? Way. What they do is they take your testicular sac and they they get the they de wrinkle it. <laughs> yes. They, and it's they don't they've shortened it. it. It's way under eye, way under my eye. <laughs> look how tired I look. It's gorgeous. <laughs> hey. You do have, you have great skin for a man of fifty five. You're married. Quit flirting. I can't help it. <laughs> okay, but what, what do you what is an under eye procedure? What did they do? They did, it's called a, a lower eyelid blepharoplasty. And it's just like a little, they just take out your eye bag. Since I've been like 15, people have been like, you, you need more sleep. And I was like, I'm 15. I slept 12 hours last night. So I just had a little bag. They pop them out, close it up, done. It's not like the same wow. thing that they do on top with the hooded eyes. They take like that off so that you look a more little. awake, but they do that underneath? Yeah. Got it. Well, I had a director of photography on, <clears throat> not on Oppenheimer, but something I was working on. And Sharknado. He, on Sharknado <laughs> and the DP of Sharknado. And this guy's, <laughs> you know, works with Inaritu, Scorsese, Sharknado. Uh, he's like, you're getting hard to light. And I was like, I'm going to throw myself off a bridge. <laughs> he's like, really? He was like, your eye bags are just like, it's hard to like make them go away. And I was like, I'm going to do something about it. And I did. Got it it hurt? No, it's great. Great. I mean, I'm well, so afraid to get. You, you don't seem like an elective surgery guy. No, I mean, he a, actually does need the yeah. eyelid one because his eyelids drape over his eyes so bad that he can't even see in the morning. Is that why you wear a statement glasses? Yes, a statement frame. Like, which no. glasses are you wearing? No. They're my own frame. What does a statement mean? Those are a statement frame. I don't think they sell those at lens crafters. <laughs> no, they spec. sell them at, at, at C Eyewear. At C Eyewear. They're his own brand. They're my own brand, the glasses. All the glasses I wear are my own brand. You're awesome. They're cool. Wow. <laughs> you are yeah. awesome. And a, and a portion of every purchase goes to Seth Rogen's uh, charity, uh, Hilarity for Charity, and it's for Alzheimer's. Yeah, Alzheimer's research. Yes. Love that. You do? Wow. Yeah, his mother in law. Pardon me? His mother-in-law has suffered from Alzheimer's oh, right. early onset, so right. and it's so cool how much he's. he's I'm, I'm amazed that he did elective surgery because you did uh, the weight loss. I saw you post last week. He posted he lost like a hundred pounds before Ozempic. Do you know that he was a hundred pounds? Well, you did watch the show. So. I watched Drake and Josh. I did, but also, yeah, that's super cool. How did you do that? Just the old fashioned way. I worked an infection. Yes. Yes. An infection. <laughs> I, I gave myself a, a, a ringworm, or not ringworm. What is it? Tape, tape, yeah, tape, tape, worm. Worm. tape worm. Tape worm. I always get ringworm and tape worm mixed up. It's one ringworm. is in your ass and one is on your arm. From, from a wrestling mat. Yes. <laughs> when did you hit a point where you were like, okay, I want to make a change? I. <laughs> 
I feel oh like God. I should just leave. Did you have a new co-host. It's okay. It's great. I like co-host. Yeah, you guys can just boot me it's out. Like going, no, it's like going out. I like going out like this. You know, it's like going out and having all the fun with a designated driver. Yeah. I'll be the DD. Go ahead. I, um, you know, I, I was on television since I was 14 and I introduced myself to the world as like this big, heavy guy and it was great and great for comedy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I just wanted to get healthy and it was, it was hard because I knew that in changing myself, I would kind of like be taking away someone that people fell in love with, right? Because they loved that chubby guy that, right. that was on the Identity show. Identity crisis. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a challenging thing. <laughs> but I was young too. I was like I 17. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. <laughs> Before this Olivia? ends, I want to hear one Megan. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, doesn't have to be now, but like just not now. <laughs> I'll get <it>. Megan. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> there <Drake>. you go. <laughs> Oprah. Gamas, <laughs> uh, am I allowed to ask how old you are? I'm 23. That's amazing. Almost 24. It's amazing. Well, it's amazing because the show, like, probably premiered when you were three. Oh my god! So you discovered it. Kind of yeah. In well, no, I grew up on it. My brother and I's favorite episode of Drake and Josh was the one where you guys went and bought a new car, and then Drake stole it and drove it around the the. And you were running around the block. You were like, first Olivia's one to be back the at the house. Classic. You're like, first one to be back at the house gets the keys to the new car, and then you're like, all right, one, two, three, go. They both think that they're running around the block, and Josh is like running, and Drake just took the car and drives by Josh, and he's like running. It's very good. It's yeah. a good show. Me and my brother. Do you remember that episode? <laughs> Vaguely. I want to be friends with Olivia. Really? Should we? Yeah. I'm getting great after this with my parents. Oh, <laughs> you Oli know. Olivia, you're an amazing podcaster. You should you should launch your own podcast. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's great question. funny you say that. Wait, wait, wait. What are you saying? We haven't asked a good question? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what, who are you, you to asked. judge? She she took over. She, she did. Took over. She's, been, she's, she's on the takeover. Call it Olivia and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about him? Olivia He's here Josh. too. And yeah. Ben, the beautiful yeah. Ben. Ben, 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 ben in Florida. Okay, you can be there too. You can be the in the middle in the and sign, right? Olivia and then and. You, you calling my co-host an ambersand? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Olivia, We're in Florida? Get the hell out of here. We've had okay, enough. bye guys. <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> that was fun. When you say thanks for having me, are you directing that directly at your parents? Uh... Olivia, sure. <laughs> Olivia, give your Instagram handle because after this airs, you're gonna have like nine million new <laughs> new followers. I'm so terrified. She doesn't want the hate. It's Olivia Sloan with two oh, A's okay. and two N's. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> She's the best. Wow. That was great, Olivia. Wow. That was Dude. fun. You were great. <laughs> Unreal. She's even wow. wearing your merch, too. Isn't she wearing your That's merch? That's a CI yeah. wear merch she was oh. wearing. And we have merch. Not Go to our merch? <laughs> not, not no. Well, you can get it. Go to HowieMandel.com and you can get our merch. Yeah. What you, talk on the mic. That, that was podcast merch. She came in. Yeah. She was cold. Yeah, pod oh, she oh. didn't wear it in. You no. just gave it to her. <laughs> Rich, Rich isn't giving her any credit. <laughs> you guys have merch? We do. We have Good Guys merch. Goodguys.com. Oh. Oh. Goodguys.com. Go right? to Good Guys. I, you, Is that you right, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that I don't know what our merch site looks like right now, but yeah. What do you? What does that even mean? We do limited drops. So we do it's limited drops. It's not, it's not readily available. Okay. Does that work? We should. That'd be something we Let's do. do a limited drop. We're going to have an old, uh, we got one uh, pair of stained shorts. <laughs> I like that. It's a limited drop. Didn't we have a limited what... drop of the shirt the where birds, like birds can't handle my penis? What's the one that we have? What's Give me the shirt. We have a birds can't handle my penis <laughs> shirt. And it has nothing to do with the show. It is. We had Miss Pat on. Do you know Miss Pat? She's Isn't she insanely amazing? brilliant. And She's real. so funny. And where a yeah, who's been your favorite guest yeah. on your podcast? By, we, by the way, it's shopgoodguys.com. That is the link. <laughs> Are they, you, there's the shirt. You see the shirt? <laughs> I have more Cut penis than a bird can handle. So uh, we have a limited time, a limited amount of those. What is that referring to? Never mind. The size okay. of somebody's penis, <laughs> and it's bigger than you can't, you can't, it's hard. Like, you can't, with the size penis mm. that you have, you can't. As her dad would say, pulled the trigger. Great. Mm -hmm. I think wow. that's what he it means. You can you have too much penis for a sparrow, right? 
Maybe what? not any. If you want to brag, but you really don't have a lot to brag about, you could say that. I have more penis than a bird can handle. What bird? But certain birds certainly can. I've seen birds pick up cats. So certain birds. That's a different. We're that's always back. Oh, he's, uh, uh, Olivia's dad. Ostrich is a pretty big bird. Large birds, of, a bird of prey. <laughs> Let's have Olivia's dad in. Come on in, sir. Come on in. He's got information. An, an American <laughs> bald eagle, you know, a you vulture. Shouldn't, you shouldn't F a bald eagle. That's a sacrilegious. That's like stepping on the flag. Fair. It's anti-American, Josh. It's anti-American. Why does it take a Canadian to tell him this? Canadian Jews are fascinating. Why? 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 I don't know. It's just like a different flavor. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> wait, who's Canadian? Toronto, yeah. right? Toronto. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so, say more. What's the Jewish community like in Toronto? It's it's big, right? Yes, but it's uh, we have um, what we do is with the Jewish community in Canadian Jewish community, we have circumcision like the regular Jewish community, mm-hmm. but with the Canadian Jews they cut off 20% less. There's an exchange rate on the sure. uh, foreskin <laughs> of the Canadian, it's a <laughs> cock currency. I went, I was working in Vancouver. Did I just get dinged for saying cock? No. no. Good. no. Uh, in, in this episode, that's not what you're getting dinged for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was at uh, in Vancouver working for a year and my lovely son was one and a half and it was Hanukkah, so we wanted to celebrate. I, I don't travel. Why do you why whisper? You whisper why do you whisper the word celebrate? celebrate? You remind me of my brother. Because I do like. I, you whisper you, nonsense words. You're just judging my tones. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I say, I, I talk about this sometimes on stage. People whisper the wrong, ro- like cancer is a word that people whisper or died, right? People will go, you know, I, did you hear something? So and so has cancer. Right. Or so and so died, right? right? My brother, like you, will whisper a word, but it's the wrong word. I'll meet you in the lobby. I'm gonna take the elevator. Right. Why are you whispering it? So why did you say celebrate. we wanna celebrate? I don't in know. fact, the word celebrate should not be quiet. Should be screamed. Yes. Perhaps. I have my t- my little son mm-hmm. and we wanted to celebrate. Mm-hmm. That's what you want. So we wanted to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't travel with a menorah. But it was Hanukkah. Who does? So I went to go. I, I, <laughs> is a menorah considered carry on? I, have, I won't every time, it. Every time we go away and it's Hanukkah, I travel with a menorah. You, you know do? that. Yeah. Yeah, she does. I do. For I my kids, that. so we could celebrate wherever we are. How old are your kiddos? Seven and nine. No. Yeah. What? I'm older than you. No, she got pregnant at 13. Yeah. We are, are so t- proud of t- her. Mom? <laughs> She was the most popular kid in her class. Seven and nine, God She's bless you. She's almost 40. Yeah. Wow, you look incredible, if, I, if I'm allowed same, to say. Say more. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I went to like some version of a Canadian Bed Bath & Beyond to buy a menorah <laughs> for my son. A Canadian version of Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> I oh, think it was, I know what it we is. We have um, Bed Bath & Beyond. I did no, go to Bed Bath & Beyond. No, you don't. No one has Bed Bath & Beyond anymore. Well, they they did, did go under? But it they did. Under. Yeah. And I went in and I was like, do you have a menorah? And the person looked at me and said, Manure? Manure. <laughs> manure. They give you a pile of shit to light candles. They this were... shit stunk. It was supposed to stink for one day, but the shit stunk for eight days. It's a miracle. They thought I was saying manure. They had no even inkling. These Jews with their, the way they Wait, celebrate. Wait, where in Canada? Bed, Vancouver. Bath and, oh. In Bed Bath & Beyond, the guy came all... in to look for a pile of shit. There's not a lot of Jews in Vancouver, are there? Yes, oh, we're no, everywhere. No. <laughs> no, there's not a lot of us in general. No. We're well, not isn't. everywhere. We're not. You know what's amazing? We have so much hatred, but we, yet we're only 2% of the population. Yeah. Do you know that? Not of the of American yeah. population. Not, I don't even think, I think less than a percent of the world. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking America. We're yeah. in America. Oh, you want to go back up to Canada? Oh. <laughs> Let's go everywhere. Let's go Internash. <laughs> Internash. How, much, how busy are you that you can't end the word no? <laughs> it's just fun yes keep it short i like it right i like that i like that keep it short just are you take my nail oh. your kids how old are your kids um five and one are you nervous what? about my oh, children what? yeah so, in, what, in what way safety just safety like because of Do you have boys or girls boys two boys two boys it's scary well, I was watching the other day. I think people have shown this. Have you seen that? Uh, uh, there's a video made by the uh, mayor of New York. 
about child safety and things to look for. Did you see that? Eric Adams made it? Yes. The best video I've ever seen. Say more. What, what is it? <laughs> what is it, Ben? Okay, Ben's let's... Uh, we'll, where, we'll, he, where he... Play here. the video. Josh needs to see the video. Okay. I've sent it to you, I think. It's where he's in a kid's room and they're looking for... They're looking for like weed paraphernalia. Yeah, just yeah. when you have kids, you should know this. If you haven't seen this yet, you should know this. And we'll talk about it. <laughs> It'll take a minute to get up and on, but, but watch this. Marijuana is legal. You're okay I don't with your think kids it was just marijuana. marijuana? I would rather them not, no. But it's it more is. than just marijuana. Tell me when it's coming up. Two seconds. We're going to wait two seconds. <laughs> there, Talk amongst there. yourselves. I saw the right. airdrop just came. Okay. <laughs> Solid. So watch this. And yes. Josh, for context, this video is what you should be looking for in the average kid's bedroom. All right. <laughs> okay. There he and is. you have average yeah. kids. That's the that's the mayor of New York. I know watch this, this is what I watched when I... Watch this. Okay. <laughs> Jury box of this nature, maybe a simple jury box, but if you look through it closely, you don't know what your child may be hiding. For instance, a, a, a <laughs> Stop it for a second. <laughs> stop it for a second. Wait, stop did they it. not say the word? Because you're not supposed to say. Yeah, the we didn't. Whole we word? don't. We don't say it. We don't okay. say it. Okay. okay, but I would if I, next time. You go into your children's jewelry box. <laughs> like, but what is he, 90? <laughs> no, but so first of all, you don't want them to have a lot of bling, as the kids say. But if he did have bling and he had a bling box, that's a good place for him to that's hide. That's a hiding place. For weaponry. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, keep going, keep going. This weaponry is weaponry and, and a Try very small well, ballerina well, that spins. Behind a picture. He's got pictures in his room or she has, they have pictures. Go ahead. Behind a picture frame, you can find bullets. Bullets! You should always <laughs> bullets! Bring in his Mommy, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang wow. on. Stop it. <laughs> Behind picture frames. Behind picture frames, you could find bullets. So if I was you, I'd go home and remove every picture. If this was my boyhood room, Eric Adams would be like, and behind this picture, ranch. <laughs> it's true. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Bring in his popular knapsack with many different locations. Many I'll locations. through it to see what exactly is your child carrying in addition to a book. This is nuts. Something simple as a crack pipe. Something Something okay, <laughs> stop it. So simple. Something as simple as a crack so pipe. You think, you think their backpack is just, and there's so many compartments in a backpack. Yes. You go, why, why, why would he use this for his crack pipe? How do your boys carry their crack? <sighs> I gotta think, how did Max, how does he like to do it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has this little Paw Patrol, fun little, you know, little uh, tote bag. Okay, and, he's got a Paw Patrol tote bag. And who knows what could be in there? Well, crack, bullets, fireworks, smoke bullets, bombs. Guns. There you see. Yeah. He's right. He's right. Keep going. As a baby doll. Could be just a baby doll, but also it could be a place where you could secrete or hide drugs. Run your hands. You could secrete <laughs> or hide drugs. Sometimes if you squeeze a baby doll's ass, if you just squeeze the ass, you could secrete. You could have it, sh you know, shit out your drugs. You don't know. You think your sons have a little baby doll. What is it going to secrete? This reminds me of when you found my drugs in the. Why do you have to do that? Because it wasn't drugs. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> who in, in the film canister? Who in Mr. Adams, Mayor Adams' camp said this is a good video? This is a PSA. This is a public service announcement. I think not only is he doing it for New York, not only did he do it for the internet, but me and the good guys are doing it for the world. Right. You're welcome. And what's crazy is he's still 200 times better, even with this PSA of a mayor, than former mayor Bill de Blasio. He, he, is this he, a New Yorker we're talking to? He does not like Bill de Blasio. Piece of, piece of shit. You know his <laughs> real name? You guys know You guys know Bill de Blasio's real name? Tell Alan, us, Ben. You know it? It, uh, let me guess. Steve de Blasio? <laughs> Warren Wilhelm. He made himself Bill to feel more like one of the... One of the people, one of the And why members. did he take Wilhelm away and do de Blasio? Ben? Maybe because he didn't want to be German. Maybe because he wanted to be Italian and appeal to a minority voter in New York. Warren Wilhelm became Bill de Blasio. Or as we call him on the Good Guys podcast, Bill the Criminal. Wow. 
There's a lot of animosity there. A lot of politics in this yeah. episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's here's the, the 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 great mayor. He didn't stop there. It doesn't stop at secretions from dolls. If see if you feel anything that's unusual, <laughs> like a pillow like this with a button, is a perfect invitation to hide something. I felt something bumpy. I would reach in, see what it is. <laughs> Did you see what it was? We can't say what it was. Wow. But sometimes you should feel your children's pillows. <laughs> see if your children's pillows are bumpy. That's a dirty right. pillow. That's a dirty pillow. That's from the movie Carrie. Yeah. That's, I can that? you imagine the neck pain that kid's going to have sleeping on that in his pillow? That's not support. It's so hard. Well, if there's it enough. It was a decorative pillow. The truth Very of the matter decorative. is, if you uh, ingest enough of the doll's secretions, <laughs> the bumpy pillow does Just not bumpy. matter. <laughs> Right. You get you have to intake enough secretion so the bumpy pillow doesn't bother. Yes. Is he finished? Is this it? Hide your bookcases. Well, it book could be more than just books. Perfect place to hide uh, cocaine. Yeah, yeah books. The perfect place. <laughs> People always say, I, I have this, uh, the, I have a whole bag of this. Where do I hide it? Oh, uh. Books. Books. That's why I think the most, uh, the biggest supply of that stuff people think is from Colombia or South America, mm. but it's really from our library system. Maybe that's why they're banning it's books. From, that's yeah. why. That's why they're yes. banning books. You can answer that. Out. You're in Florida. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes. That was a tremendous amount of drugs <laughs> yeah. in that bag. Like, wow, I, that was. The fact that he has a jewelry box, a baby doll, mm. a pillow and books makes him weird as it is. Yes, I don't like the jewelry box. That just if I my son had a jewelry box with a little ballerina spinning in it and it's playing like Tchaikovsky, I'm going like, are you are you one of the Golden Girls reincarnated? <laughs> like, why do you have a jewelry box like this? That room really? Didn't are you seem making like fun of that because my son Alex collects those? He does. Yes, he's got eight of them. Hey, Alex, talk about your jewelry boxes with the ballerinas. I buy one a year for the last eight years. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Why is he laughing? I don't know. <laughs> He's besmirching us. I, I support it completely. And I would say thank you for being a friend. <laughs> I see what you did there. Do you see what he did there? Yeah. He was able to take. Now, yeah. I want to ask your co-host, are you, where are you that you have this? Well, I know you're in Florida, but is that, is that a studio? Like what, are, what is this? I'm current. I'm currently, I'm currently in a studio in South Florida. Because this it looks like Athens after you studio. finish this, it looks like after you finish this, you are going to visit your grandmother in a in an assisted Speaking living. I have the Golden Girls. Yeah, yeah. I, I it am, looks like an I assisted. Am gonna go, go ahead. I am going to go visit my grandma at her grave site, and I'm oh. going to tell oh. her that Howie wishes her well, and all my other dead relatives. Oh. And, and then if, we're going to go and we're going to do I our podcast. And, and if you go to HowieMandel.com, he's got a whole <laughs> line of stones with Howie's face on it that you can put on your Jewish relative's grave. I didn't mean to bring up your yeah. dead, should do that. Your dead uh, that's good, grandmother. That's your grandmother is dead, and, and um, I'm sorry. Oh, for, yeah. For, sorry oh, yeah. for your loss. By the way, anybody that has grandparents over the age of 30, you're so fortunate. This is honestly something, this is more that we talk about on, on our podcast. Who let's, doesn't, let's, isn't let's every, talk about it. wait, wait, wait. Isn't everybody's oh. grandparents over the age of 30? No, no if, if you, you are, are 30 and you no. still have your grandparents. If you oh. are 30 and you have your grandparents, you are so unbelievably lucky. You and lucky. I'm sorry, I never understood this. People that are so unbelievably distraught when they lose a grandparent at 40, you know how lucky you are? Yeah, you know lucky you are? What are you, nuts? So you shouldn't be upset if you lose a grandparent? No. No. No, you should be very, very, very <laughs> thankful and happy. You should be thankful. 40 years old with a grandma? Okay. It, Josh, that that is pretty spectacular. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> my son has, a, a, both my boys have a gr has a great grandparent. I mean, that's. Well, let me be the great. judge. They're okay. They're, pr they're pretty. They're an okay parent, not okay. a great grandparent. Their grandparent, but great is a little over the top, don't you think? Yeah, I, I my my kids have great grandparents. They're good, really. No, well, my, your, my, kids my, your, kids your kids do. Grandkids, your kids yeah. have great because I'm a grandparent. You, your your parents still alive? Uh, my mom and uh, my wife's both her parents are still alive. God bless them. Yeah, that's well, awesome. God bless. 
<laughs> Thank you. It's getting so <laughs> emotional. You're it went from <laughs> it went from like uh, really kind of uh, good Hollywood stories <laughs> with Olivia to God bless the grandparents. <laughs> yes, we've really taken a ride in this uh, in this hour. And uh, I love where you, but I guess that's the Florida. That's the Florida. Do you, uh, you don't have any living grandparents? None. None. So, so do you parents, ever, they're wonderful. My do parents you visit the villages? Plus. Have you ever been to the villages do down I, in Florida? Um, no. No. Do you know do what you that know is? Do you know what it is? Is it, yeah, no. it's like the gated communities where all the older people live and they're, they'd be like hooking up and yes. spreading like STDs to each other. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I wanted to do a reality show. They don't want to, they don't want it there. They won't but let I, us I in. perform there at the villages. Yes. And they have, it's like everybody, the traffic is golf carts and they hang all they these. They don't call them golf carts. What do they call them? They call, hold on. What Put some of it up, the villages, and they have these loofahs. They hang loofahs, and the different color means they want to get laid. <laughs> they want to get laid, or they're going to, you, you know, you've got an old floozy, puts a loofah on there, and uh, do we have anything? And for, the loofahs mean different things. They want to get laid. No, there's different colors for different things. Like, I enjoy watching. I enjoy, there's, they all mean something different. Really? Yeah. This is so exciting. I, I can't wait. My my grandmother lived in something like this, and now I'm having some post traumatic stress from it. <laughs> did no, your grandmother actually. did your grandmother have uh, a lot of sex before she left? Hopefully, I mean, if you're gonna, I, what else is there to do in your 80s? I think in these things they go uh, like the the line is I can make brisket come up and fuck me. I think that's a so that's a direct. come on line. No, don't you think that's a line that hit on? There's the villages, all this vil the villages. Wow. Can we uh, can we play this without getting dinged? The no, probably not. Probably not. Can't call yeah. them the village people cuz that's But so uh, let's put the villages <laughs> the villages Florida sex. You could play it and edit it out after. This is And then tell them that we watched <laughs> elderly people <laughs> having sex and you didn't see it because we edited it out. <laughs> Why don't we do that anyway with Oh, you should see what we just edited out of here. <laughs> Unbelievable. We had a menage uh, the menage, wow. the combined age of this menage was 264 years. It's an old, what are you saying? You can see the loofahs here. What they oh, mean. and what they mean? Yeah. I'll put that up on the screen. Here they are. So he could see them, the, the loofahs. Can you see this in Florida? A white one? I can see the, I can see, I can see the colors. What does a white loofah mean? Novices, Novices and, and beginners. beginners. Okay. okay. And on the spectrum of loofahs, what, that's obviously... The softest. What's the hardest color? Well, wait. Let's go down the line. The next one, this purple one, and I don't know purple. I'm colorblind. I would get so effed up there because Just I would put a loofah on your golf cart. No, Dad. but I would think I read a loofah. I thought you, you wanted me to loofah. go down on you. I thought I didn't know that all you wanted was soup. Boyer. I thought you wanted oral sex. I'm sorry, I misread your loofah. Yeah. Purple is people who like to watch. Pur purple is people who like to watch. I oh. love that there's people who like to watch in a senior citizens, they can't see. <laughs> They right. can't see the optometrist, the people it who want comes, to watch. It, that, that loofah comes with pink. bifocals. Pink. Tell them what pink is. A soft swap. People who like to do it with others in the room. Soft swap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Journey. Okay. okay. Blue. The lowest level, a full swap. Those who can play well, play with, well others. with others. I don't know what that means. Does yeah. this have anything to do with sex or what are they watching? The <laughs> it's all sex. Know? Yellow. Mild level swap for those who want to have fun but are still nervous. But the yellow also stands for golden showers. Older women who want to be peed on. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Black is full swap. Those who say what the hell and let's go down. Let's and all let, go it, down. let it let it all go down. Everybody goes down. Everybody goes down. Sure. It's like the FBI. Everybody's going down. <laughs> what is that chewing sound? Everybody's going down. And then teal is bisexual for those who want to increase their dating chances. Wow. Anything, anywhere, anytime. Greedy. With anyone. Teal. 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 I will F you teal. Kingdom come. <laughs> wow. We want to thank you Which all for Lufa listening to the Howie Mandel be? podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Which which loofah am I? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what lo what color is um, just old fashioned uh, missionary with your spouse? 
<laughs> That's more of a washcloth. Yeah. I got it. Gotcha. <laughs> that's just a little cool. a napkin, a hand, a hand wipe. For, for sure. Yeah, that's not really a... You know what you're not supposed to use? Yeah. Go ahead. Josh, me and you are taking purple loofahs. We're taking purple loofahs. We're watching on the sidelines. We're having some brisket that... <laughs> wait, yeah, wait. <laughs> I don't want to, I would never want to watch. watch. Cause then the, my fear is not yeah. that I'd make eye contact with the people in the act, but that I'd make eye contact with the other watchers. And then you got to do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same look that you gave me as one Canadian seeing another. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was that same nod. Yeah. Right. Like, what are you gonna, oh, can you believe it? Look at that. Here we are, you know, Flo Florence and Harry. You know, <laughs> what, what are I the names? Like. Sadie and, you know, Richard. I don't know, I can't imagine old men, I don't wanna see that. It'll look like a rooster. You know, that. what is that thing that hangs underneath? Yeah. Like, did you ever see that movie, movie rooster. 51, movie 41, movie? Movie, movie 43. The, just get the picture of that guy in the first, uh, did you ever see movie 43? I did it. I saw it like 43 times. It was one of my favorite <laughs> movies. You should watch it. It's all these big stars that are doing um, right. great uh, sketch, but in who's the guy in the beginning? It's a well-known star. Who's that guy with the, the he goes on a date. And he's no, got, not that picture. The picture of the his, guy, the guy's neck. We could just play a still of the guy's neck. The scene, well, put, put it, uh, put it, uh, put up the, oh, is this it? Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Hugh wow. Jackman. Look at Hugh Jackman. Play it without, set. look at his neck. <laughs> he's got Great. nuts on his neck and he's out on a date. What? Is there one movie? I wish my nuts were on my neck. Is there one? Because I think it's more <laughs> Dad, acceptable. Dad. No, I'm being honest with you. <laughs> I know, but you're I also think, interrupting. No, no, no. no. But, but I, I know, and they're going <laughs> to get mad at me. They always in the comments. I hear your comments, but I just want to say, because it, it, you could be sophisticated and talk to people like this, but yet take care of yourself in a way, right? Go ahead. What is, were you guys are saying? Are they, is that a pleasure <laughs> center for you? <laughs> Never mind. You could have. The testicles? <laughs> uh, yeah. Not for you? I mean, you know. It's not the main event. No, but it's a... <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Olivia, was it for Tom? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. You're not answering? Okay. Let me ask your dad. Olivia, what... you do not have to answer that. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Olivia, you're free to go. <laughs> Call HR, is this okay? Oh, HR, we have a whole HR department. How you many do? people work on your podcast? One, <laughs> we have a producer. <laughs> we have one sixty-six as of yesterday. Well, the, working for Howie Mandel Enterprises. Or no, what? just this podcast. Wow, it's a big pod. Yeah, I'll take you up to the seventh floor after we finish. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. I would love to go. I can't wait to do your pod. I, I, it's an honor. So no, happy it's to be my here. honor, and I'm happy to have you. I wish you nothing but success. You're a really good actor, buddy. Thanks, man. Thank and you, you seem like a mensch for those that don't speak the language. He seems like a really good guy. So I, uh, kind. Uh, do you remember the first time we met? At the Kids' Choice Awards? Yeah. Do you? Now I do. Same. <laughs> Is that when you got I always COVID? say to the people, I did get COVID at the Kids' Choice Awards. No, this was before COVID. No, this was, was way created. before. Wow. This was like way a long time ago. I always say that to people because I don't remember if I met people, I don't have a really good memory. So I go, do you remember the first time we met? And when they say, yeah, at the so-and-so, and I go, yeah, good, you remember, you got a good memory. I, I don't remember. One moment does stick out in my mind from meeting you, which was obviously I was a big fan and I'd listened to you on Howard and whatnot. So I knew that, you know, maybe perhaps you had a couple isms around germs and whatnot. And so we meet and I first go in for the shake and I right. go, wait, he hates that. And I right. pull back and you right. pull back. Right. And then I go in for the bump and you go, okay, we bump. And I go, he, he would, in a perfect world, maybe we don't even bump, right? Well, now Ideally. that you know where, now that you know where my pleasure center is, you know what to go for. <laughs> right. Right. And then I, and then I, I pause and then I re handshake and you literally looked at me and we're, and you were like, okay, if you're going to make me, I'm not going to shake. And you, sh you shook, even though I knew. Then it was your, a long time ago. To your chagrin that it was just like, ugh. Where do you put your kid's choice? I, we have our kids. I was like 14. You were 14? Something like that. Oh, you remember it? Yeah, I was. I, that's, I, I don't even remember w being with you. And I'm talking, you can't see him on camera. I'm talking to my son. Why do you come in here when you have a camera and a microphone right there? <laughs> Why do you keep walking? Well, or I walked in there to adjust your camera, but I was already in there when you were talking. Is it adjusted? Yeah. 
You so just let's keep get a leaning. shot. No, no, you just keep stop leaning. <laughs> I adjust it for where you are. Oh. Um, yeah, no, I was. Can I somebody was go get you. my Kids Choice Award? It's in that room, the glass room. It's in the glass. I want to. Uh, you keep it ready and raring to go. Huh? Always. Keep it's, it the only award, it's the only award I've ever won. Dad, don't you remember? That's where. And then Josh and I exchanged numbers to hang out. We never hung out, but now here we are. Now here you are. Yeah. Full circle. I think I was. Yeah, it must have been like 14, something like that. You guys should plan a hangout. When you date. say I was 14, you don't have to say something like that. Because the only thing that is like 14. 13 and a half. You're right. He knows. My right. kid's good with numbers. Yeah, no, I can see that. Can you are see you that? guys the same age? Are you the same age? How oh. old are you? 37. No. I'm old. No, I'm older. I'm 34. You are not old. I'm older. He's older. You <laughs> look, I, I, again, you look seven and nine year old. I can't believe it. She looks great. You love being a mom? Yeah, I do. It's the best, right? Best thing ever. And I love being a grandparent. That's the best thing ever. Grandparenting is better than parenting. Oh, I bet. Oh, it is. Had I known it was going to be this good, I would have done it first. I got a lot. You have a couple? Kids yeah. Choice Awards? Wow. Mm -hmm. This is the latest one. That's nice. For what? Shiny. Just for being me. <laughs> Just for being me. Love that. Yeah. So glossy, so, wow. Mm -hmm. What are some other awards you've, I feel like you're a people's choice guy. No. You, certainly want to you come, could look in it. Maybe oh, a team choice. I didn't choice. realize, you can, you could look in it. It's kaleidoscope. I didn't know that. How do you turn you the thing? You turn the whole thing, I think. Oh, like that. Wow. Can I see? Nothing makes a great podcast moment <laughs> than a host sitting they're looking in a kaleidoscope. Yes. I would imagine people are sharing this <laughs> moment right now going, oh, you've got to see this. Howie's got a kaleidoscope. Go get a kaleidoscope. Why won't you tell me? Oh. I can put it in front of the camera. What? I can try to put it in front of the camera. So they could see it? How many, pe how many, oh, how many people do you think have looked through that kaleidoscope? And are oh, we worried at all about it? Shut the guy? fuck up. Are we worried about that guy? You are just killed him. Guy? Can they see that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, keep doing it. He's adjusting. No, no, I was... Oh, you're adjusting. Gosh, don't look through it. Watch this, guys. This is what I see. Here we go. Watch. Ah, oh, oh uh, that's uh, nice. Wait, 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 wait. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to yeah. have to focus. Isn't that nice? Oh, look at that. Look at that. <gasps> you know what? Good. It's herpes. <laughs> Didn't that look like you're looking at it under the microscope? Anyway, this is, uh... oh, you're still trying? We're going to keep trying. Oh, that's good. Oh, there, oh, there, there. Ah, now wow, turn it. that looks like the Illuminati. Do you believe in that? Wow. A world government? Not really. Oh, you brought it up. I thought we were going to get controversial. Anyway, um, <laughs> feel free to uh, tag Olivia. She gave you her thing. We'll put it. We'll put her uh, Instagram handle. We'll put that below. Olivia Sloan, two A's. Yeah. Two oh, you ends. remember that? Two A's. Two ends. I don't know. Two A's, two ends. <laughs> Um, this is Howie Mandel does stuff. I want you all to, uh, to, uh, subscribe and press notifications. We have our new subscription hmm. button. We have a scratch and sniff subscription button when they press subscribe and that, and then you smell your finger within the, for 10 minutes, your finger stinks. So that's, uh, it's incredible technology. I just subscribed. Stop. Is you do this every that? time. What? No way. We did it myself. My, uh, we did it ourselves. And uh, what do you want to plug? We want to, I'm going to be on your podcast, The Good Guys. Yes. So which comes out every Monday and Thursday. I'll be on every Monday and Thursday on The Good Guys. Our wonderful new co host. Yes. Listen to Howie and, and his lovely daughter, Jacqueline. On no, no. Olivia is coming on your podcast to ask <laughs> me questions. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, everywhere podcasts are available, the good guys. And, uh, and also look at, do you have a movie or a show in the works that we can plug? Oppenheimer, you were great. Thanks. It's a small part. We're working with Christopher Nolan, was that great? Chris the Nolan? greatest. He is. Greatest I loved honor. His, I loved his uh, Peloton fiasco. Wasn't that great? Yeah. For those that don't know, Chris Nolan, the director, was on Peloton one day, and uh, the uh, instructor was uh, critiquing one of his movies, not Oppenheimer. Tenet. 
yes, Tenet yes. and said, I, can I get back two hours of my life? And he's, he's on, <laughs> and he ended up uh, posting it and uh, they've apologized to him. But yeah. I, I don't know. Did you talk to him since then? I have not, but I saw that, I think the teacher who, I think she's like one of like the great superstar Peloton teachers reached out and was like, listen, no, you know, I was not trying to offend and maybe she just couldn't follow it necessarily, but he was... He was a dream about it as he is most things. He's just so classy. He is a classy guy and so am I. And that's so, why yeah, that's if you are say, with, like you. <laughs> and if you are w with the Peloton company, we, uh, we would love your sponsorship. Yeah. That would be good. They do sponsor podcasts, just not, not this ours. One, not no. ours. <laughs> we don't even have a sponsor. Stop. Mm -mm. Oh, I did. But you're big. Yeah. You're always in the Do you guys have a, who sponsors you? Do you have a lot? Dude, we're doing okay. You heard of herobread.co? Slash good guys. We don't have them. Element. Element. Yeah, use our codes. Electrolytes. We can put you in touch. Go well, ahead. Yeah. Well, we don't have them. What else do you need? Kiwi go ahead. Go do, promote whatever you're promoting for your. The, the, you got. You have products. We have. We don't have anybody. Anybody. Did you see us we do have an our, We have our. I have more than a bird shirt. But yeah, that's not that. a sponsorship. That's all we have. That's I all can, we have. My, that's good. my penis is big, big enough to hurt a bird. That's all we have. <laughs> That's all, that's all we have. This episode uh, <laughs> sponsored by PETA. Yeah. <laughs> How many times have you been in trouble but with PETA? I've been in trouble with PETA. <laughs> yes. I'll times. tell you about it on your podcast. You please, you I love will. chaos. And I love it. I don't yeah. love it. It's just who I am. There. And we'll I see get, you next time okay. right here. <laughs> uh, so funny. Thank you. Up to you. Wow.